This is the first time I filmed in the morning. Like I usually film these around like 1, 2 p.m., maybe noon if I'm feeling particularly like hyper competent. But no, I'm doing this at like 10.30 and I gotta say it's like a whole different vibe. So before we get started on what is essentially the second half of Arcane, I gotta say, after re-watching the first five episodes with my boyfriend, there are way too many people out here trying to convince me that Silco is a good dad and Jace is a good friend. Like, I don't, it's just not, something's not clicking here for me. And listen, I like Silco. I think he's great. I think he's low-key kind of scary sexy, but that's just one black woman's opinion. I'm just saying is that if you're using your surrogate daughter to kill people and encouraging wanton destruction, you you you, you don't involve your daughter in crimes. I, I think that I think that's a I think that's a good rule of thumb. And I I I don't like Jace. I just don't. I don't know what it is. The homeboy has main character syndrome. Absolutely, 100 percent He thinks he is the main character in every situation. And you might say that, yeah, this is because Piltover sort of built him up as like this grand innovator, practically a savior, and no, he had main character syndrome before the whole thing with the Hex Gates happened. Now, before I forget, my name is TK, I am a writer, a voice actress, and your resident lunatic. And today, we are watching episode 6 of Arcane because I am so tired of these cliffhangers. And I have a feeling that it's probably going to end on a cliffhanger too, because I know Netflix shows by now. And this is one of the reasons why I don't watch them that often is because they almost always leave off on a cliffhanger and then the show either gets canceled or they just skip the cliffhanger altogether. And they're like, oh yeah, it's two years later now. It, it's bullshit. But you know what? That's that's besides the point. In our last episode, Vi was sprung from prison by Caitlyn, who is eager to prove herself. But Caitlyn seems to be sort of getting attached to Vi. They, 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 they've built a rapport. They have a friendship. She saved Vi's life after that amazing fight fight with Silco's buff wife. And I just, oh, that was such a good fight. Oh, it was so good. It's so brutal. That's one of the things I love about Arcane is just the fights look like fights. People don't go down after one hit. When someone is fighting a big group of people, they all come fight that person at once. They don't go one by one unless, in Vi's case, there's a narrow bridge. I really like the use of symbolism in the show. It's fairly heavy-handed and obvious, but it doesn't have to be subtle. This show is really kind of the first of its kind, to be honest, so it doesn't have to be subtle. It can beat you over the head with it because you might need it. Now that we're at the halfway point of the show, like Word of Honor, I'm going to predict how this show will end. I think Victor and Vi are going to die because, I mean, they're in the game, so I imagine they're not actually going to die. I'm assuming that they're going to undergo some sort of baptism by fire, just like Jinx was by water. You know what I mean. Jace and Victor are going to get divorced. <laughs> Jinx is going to have like an anti-hero moment because honestly, at this moment she is being manipulated and I still think she's probably going to turn against Silco once she has a better idea of going on. She's either going to go ballistic, which is possible, but if she reunites with Vi like the promotion art for this episode implies, then no, I don't believe she's going to like be completely out of control. I think that reunion with Vi is going to be able to keep her in check. And I think eventually because, you know, she still loves Vi, so I think she's going to turn against Silco. Now, what happens to Silco after that? I'm not sure. He might die, he might not, he might get saved by his buff wife again, he might uh, I don't know, what's kind of up in the air. Regardless, that's how I think this particular season is going to end. Now, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I don't like Jace. He definitely has main protagonist syndrome, and you cannot tell me that Mel did not totally take his virginity. You, you can't tell me that she did not. Like, it, 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 homeboy was a virgin. Jace has this mentality that as long as he tries hard enough, he will eventually make the right decision. Because he made a lot of decisions without consulting his investors or his partner. And the thing is, Victor doesn't argue with him. That might be the problem. And Victor... Victor is another problem. I want to be clear about something. 
I like Silco. I don't think he's secretly a good person and that he secretly loves Jinx. Well, okay, I think he genuinely does have a lot of affection for Jinx. I think he does low-key love her like a daughter. That doesn't justify the way he's using her, the way he's let her mental state deteriorate so rapidly and use it to his advantage. I, I like Silco, but I'm not gonna sit here and convince myself that he's a good father. Vander was a good father. Justice for Vander, okay? He tried his best. He did pull a couple of punk ass bitch moves, but it's not his fault, okay? He did what he had to do, and I gotta respect that. Low key fuck Silco, though. Now, before we put in our headphones, I do have a question. What is with all of the V names in this show? It just seems very, I don't know, what's the word for it? Coincidental? Because you have Vander, Violet, Victor. Is there significance to all of that? I don't know. Somebody help me out on that. But regardless, what we are going to do, put in our headphones and finally get to episode six because I have got to finish this show. It's so good and I've been letting it slide. It's a fucking crime. I love the discs so much. Oh lord, we're back underwater again. Aw. That looks so idyllic. I know it's not going to be. It's- but it's something about jumping into the water like that as a kid, you know? I love water, even to this day. Oh, it's Baby Victor! And who's that? Mystery girl? But Baby Victor can't swim with the other kids. Oh, this violin is so... There's something so poignant about it. He's not going to be able to keep up with it. Honey, you're not going to be able to get it back. Oh, no. I don't want him to lose it. No, I immediately want to hug him. It's just... I'm sorry, you give me a sad child and I'm like, no, I will give you a soda and let you watch Cartoon Network till 10 p.m. It's the big sister instinct in me. Come on. I hope he gets his boat back. Oh, Jesus. Why aren't you playing with the others? Oh! Isn't he dead? Oh. <laughs> That's my pet. Isn't he, isn't he cute? He is kind of creepy cute. I love him. I, what, I don't know what the lizard is called, but I've always found them kind of cute. Oh, no! You want to assist me? Oh. Very well. <sighs> stop, stop trying to convince me that the deadly drug maker is a good person! Stop it! I mean, everyone does what they have to do. And even the worst person can find something they love. That's just the rule of life. You should be proud of what you've accomplished, Victor. But that doesn't keep him from wanting to accomplish more. It's a sad truth that those who shine brightest often burn fastest. Oh my god, isn't that the damn truth? I have lost a lot of very brilliant friends who unfortunately died way before their time. Are we making- okay, yeah, we're painting. Oh, Mel has a hobby! Color me surprised! <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry for disappearing last night. Duty calls. I- Victor's not an obligation! Just tell her! Victor saved my life once. Now he needs me and there's nothing I can do. Yeah, you're not with him right now! Isn't that weird? I didn't realize he was so close. He's like my brother. D you didn't? Feels impossible. Why oh. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Mel's thinking the same thing. I'm an exile from my family. He's the richest exile I don't ever seen. Shit. I don't believe that for a second. Do you? <laughs> yes. You should be with him, Chase. Thank you! There's still a part of him that will always be obsessed with his work, no matter what the prognosis is. Didn't even get a chance to clean your damn table? No, no. Someone help him. Someone help him. Please. Just, can someone get him? I just want someone to take care of him. Oh my god. Oh. No, that's just, that's just like what she used to do with Vander. Focus. Who are they? Why wasn't I invited to the party? Because you're scary. It's like a saying. You're doing it's giving it's giving Harley Quinn. Yeah, it's very much giving Harley Quinn. Oh, Vaya's struggling. No wonder she got feckin' stabbed. Mm, Jesus. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, go get her. Who that is? Ooh, it's, 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 uh, Firelight Guy. 
I don't want to say it's Echo, although I'm like 500% sure it's Echo. Oh my god, she's so sexy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm simping every time she comes up. Yeah, she just wants to be invited to the party. She doesn't really know who it is right now. Did she knock her out or did she kill her? I mean, R.I.P. to the buff wife, but I mean, did she kill her? Okay, no. No! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's your sister. Are you sure that's the best thing to do? Are you sure that's the best thing to do? Because she might stab you anyway. She's with some girl in Forrester. Guess okay, yeah, she's gonna kill you anyway. Her back in town. It's only a matter of time before you implode. And Silco finally gets the message that you're about as good for our cause as you were for your family. Ooh, yeah. James. Yeah. She's, she's absolutely gonna kill you anyway. I think I know just how to deliver that message. It's gonna be your head on a pike, I guess. Oh, R.I.P. to the buff wife. Hmm. Marcus, you are suffering, dude. I mean, you low-key deserve it, but that's just one black woman's opinion. Think about your daughter, dude. Think about your wife. Uh, Ooh! But it seems she never made it. Isn't that sad? Please don't hurt the little girl. That's not possible. There's an enforcer with her. Oh my god, this, this... Oh, the Ajita. You know, that bedroom reminds me of, uh... The first bedroom from What Remains of Edith Finch. They cannot be allowed to resurface. Do we understand each other? Because I know where you live, and I know where your daughter lives. The House of Cards. Daddy, your friends are really weird and, like, vaguely threatening. I don't like him. Ooh, that was cold-blooded. It responds to organic... Oh, it's growing plants. It is learning. This is unlike anything we've ever seen, Jace. It, it, it could be the key to augmenting physiology, extending life, curing you. Hmm, well, I might not like... Oh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> Rejecting the transmutation. Well, it is accelerated growing. Anything that's gonna grow accelerate is gonna die at an accelerated rate. I can feel my body eroding. Oh my god, please, just I'll have Sky bring Heimerdinger. He might know something. Heimerdinger does ne never helps you! He always makes things worse. Damn. Oh wow. <gasps> guy i recognize the glasses oh r.i.p that guy he didn't deserve that oof vi is struggling listen when i said you might die i didn't say like for sure is this where they were before vander got to them Vi, you don't have time for this. You don't have time for this? You're dying. Just accept the help. I shouldn't have left you. It's all right. Despite it all, I can tell. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you. That is true. Vi is... Vi is at least trying to be a good person. Bit of an anti-hero, yes, but trying. It's an adaptive rune matrix. Heck thick, that... Oh, look at the way his eyes are shining. It's 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 groundbreaking. What's most exciting is that it Heimerdinger, you're about to make this so much worse. Mumba is about to make this so much worse. You must destroy it. Oh no. See nations destroyed by a single seed and it looked exactly like this. I mean, to be fair, it looked orange. Victor, something's different. You've changed. What did you do? He's dying! It must be destroyed. Wait. No, I won't let you. Finally! Taking a stand! God damn! I will have it destroyed one way or another. That's your opinion. We'll see if the council agrees. Hey, Heimerdinger! Hey, bro! Mumba! My dude! Literally, just explain yourself! I need to get ready. For what? Yeah, that's a that's a solid question. For what? Is she all right? Oh Jesus! <laughs> I, 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 I'm afraid that 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. They fucked this man up. Come with me. Just <laughs> leaving poor Vi there. So I guess people in the lanes didn't know he was, didn't know she was dead. Element. I always love the idea of a scary doctor. I just wanted to feel what it was like to be somebody. To make other people afraid. Desperation makes people do crazy things, man. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, damn. Okay, Katie. Tell her I'm sorry about everything. Okay? I don't even know your name, bro. Oh. Caitlin has a good heart, too. It matches fragments we found outside your lab and at the Hex Gates. Marcus is about to I, try and... I saw Caitlin Kiriman had a prisoner released on your order. Whoop. Is there anything I can assist with? No. No, uh, we've got it covered. Wow, okay, damn. Loosened our morals in favor of comfort and convenience. Traded honor for prestige. We were once one tribe. You were never one tribe, Heimerdinger. Let's put that to bed right now. The Undercity wouldn't exist if there were- if it was one tribe. We'll take vigilance. We must hold each other accountable. And who holds you accountable? Yeah! Thank you, you sanctimonious bastard! Jace, you forget yourself. No, he has a point. I see what this is about. Your Hextech projects need more time, more safeguards. That's not what this is about! You are the true father of Piltover, and your years of service can never be repaid. He wants him removed from the camp. Ooh! A well-deserved retirement. Damn! Jace, I wasn't expecting you to go that far, my guy. I was just expecting you to stick it to him. Come on, Kiriman. Shula, what you about to say? What she about to what she about to say? Jeez, Jace. I wasn't expecting you to go that far, man. I was glad you were standing up for your friend, but holy shit, dude. I was just expecting him to like stick it to him a little. I wasn't expecting him to kick him off the council. Shit. I was just hoping you would like i don't know tell him to fuck off easy 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 <laughs> oh wow caitlin's so good to her about time vi had some goddamn decent affection since she's been in prison damn uh, you don't lean against that yep this is where they were before vander got to them it's hard to check up on people from inside a concrete cell what you don't have parents caitlin your privilege is showing sweetie they were killed by enforcers. The one thing about your history, you're gonna need to learn it one day. The good and the bad and the ugly. Because it's mostly bad and ugly. Oh, well. This is pertinent. She's not gonna be able to fight them all. Jinx. More than I ever imagined. Oh. She's here. Is she about to hear this conversation? You don't know your limits, girl. It's what got Vander killed. And what drove your sister away. No, what what dro drove her sister away is the murder of her entire family. That's my girl. Oh, Vi is so powerful. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I know that's not gonna kill Silco, of all people, right? I hope not. That would be too easy. Oh, wow. Get her. Oh my god. This scene is just breathtaking. Oh my god. Run, run, go get her. Oh. <laughs> wow. Remember when I said that I hope that Vander puts the fear of God in him? It turns out that he did. However indirectly, he absolutely did. Fuck you, Silco. You hot, sexy bastard. That was beautiful. That was just 
gorgeous. I loved every single minute of that. Okay, now we're in flashback. Ooh. Ooh. Is this how Shimmer was made? Ooh. He's still alive. Probably horribly burned. Yep, that's what I thought. Why are you mowing at this hour of the day? Oh my god. How many problems can one girl cause? She can destroy your entire fucking empire. Uh, oh, rip your wife. Oh no, she's still alive. Not having a shitty day, but she's still alive. I apologize if you hear any of that mowing. I, I didn't even think they were going to be by my building right now, and I don't know how to mute it. She found her. She found her! After- Oh my god! I'm sorry. That's something that really hits home for me. I know. Pow Pow, I know. Pow Pow! <laughs> Who is she? Who are you? It's okay. She's a friend. D you didn't tell me you were dating anyone! Caitlin, just listen. We can work this out. <laughs> like, listen. Listen. I never should. Stop talking to me like I'm a child! Damn. Sister, I thought I missed her. Oh. Can she handle that? Yeah, somebody- uh, there's, there's something. What is happening? Oh, it's you! Caitlyn doesn't have a gun. I really like Jinx's minigun. They want revenge. Someone get the Hextech gemstone! Oh, damn. Oh, well, rip. Oh, no. Okay, thank god. Oh my gosh, this is like the first- battle with them we've seen, besides the one in episode 4. Yeah, she's definitely changed, Vi. She wasn't lying. Did she... Did she take Caitlyn? Yeah, they, she wasn't lying when she said she was here only for Jinx. Did Violet think she was exaggerating when she said she changed? Caitlyn told her about Jinx! It's the second time that's happened to you, getting knocked out when being concerned about powder. Oh, this just got so much more complicated. Bye. No! Yep, now the firelights are really gonna have a problem on their hands! Oh no! Oh, jeez. They're just- they're, yeah, that's- that's- that's a lot. Oh, okay. I, I need a minute. That was just very emotional. And also, I need these people to stop mowing. They're not mowing. They're actually trimming the bushes outside that don't really need to be trimmed because it's in the middle of fucking winter. I was on Jace's side for like a second. For like a second. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Heimerdinger is a sanctimonious asshole. I understand that he has a perspective and experience that most people People couldn't even hope to have. Like, I, I, I get that part. But the fact of the matter is, he should have given him a detailed point by point reason about why he is so uncomfortable about Hextech and organic matter, rather than fuck you, just trust me. That that's that's not how you get people on your side, Moomba. That's not how things work. So I was on Jace's side for a second, basically telling him, you like, go fuck yourself. We don't have the luxury of time. Victor especially doesn't have the luxury of time. I know death isn't a big deal to you, but it still is to us. So it's natural that Jace wants to save Victor, and it's about time he did something for Victor. God damn it! I wasn't expecting him to go. Oh, that far. Just straight up kicking him off the council, in my opinion, was a bridge too far. I think he could have at least just stood up to him more than once. That's all. I am literally begging you to find somewhere else to do this. Vi is a main character of a JRPG because she has two different routes, the Powder route and the Caitlyn route, because now with her working relationship with Caitlyn, all she knows about Caitlyn is that Caitlyn wants to take down Silco and they have an enemy in common, and they are becoming increasingly affectionate for each other as time passes by. According to Powder, Vi has hooked up with Caitlyn to get the Hextech gemstone back from her. Vi doesn't know what a Hextech gemstone is. I think Caitlyn is more concerned about Silco than she is about the Hex Hextech gemstone. Now, I could be wrong in the next episode, which is fine. The whole scene where she popped the flare just hurt me. It was beautiful. And honestly, I wish I could have seen it in the theater. I don't think I've seen anything like that since Into the Spider-Verse.
Now, you might say I'm biased because, yes, I am something of an anti-Disney adult, but I do not believe that Disney could come up with something that beautiful, honestly, in any medium. Uh, with that being said, being Victor is suffering. Like, homeboy might be rich, but goddamn. He's like, well, hmm, Victor, you're different somehow. Yeah, it almost seems like he's happy. Doesn't that suck for you? I mean, Jesus Christ, Victor works hard for what he does and he really got the shit end of the stick. I don't think Victor asked for all of that. I don't think Victor asked for Jace to, you know, delete Heimertinger from the council. I don't think he asked for Jace to go so far with the encouragement from Mel, who was right, by the way. She was like, I don't know why you're discussing this with me. You should be with him. She seemed like she was sympathetic towards Victor this whole time. I thought she didn't like him, but apparently she does. Or she likes Victor because Jace likes Victor, which I mean, I don't know, I feel like Jace is going a little power mad. That's just one black woman's opinion. I genuinely do not know what's going to happen next. Piltover starting to block off access to the lanes. So this is, this is, this, oh. Remember when I said that feeling of impending doom? It's definitely back. Now, with that being said, like if you like this video, subscribe if you really like this video and would like to see more. You can find me on every single piece of social media, Instagram, Tumblr, TikTok, Twitter, but mostly Tumblr and TikTok because fuck Twitter. Because of some issues with Amazon, Wheel of Time is now out as the next series to watch. I have no access to Amazon Prime at the moment. So the next series I am going to be watching will be The Wind Witcher from Netflix. Surprisingly enough, I have never seen that show and I've only ever played the third game. So that will be the next series. Can't afford Amazon Prime right now. So we'll put Wheel of Time off for another day and I will probably take breaks in between seasons, maybe for like a movie or something. Now, a lot of people are suggesting shows to watch, but if you have any movies you would like me to watch, please let me know. But regardless, thank you for watching. Stay weird, lovelies, and happy eating.